today's topic, the secret to success. And before I dive right into this episode, I have an important message for you. I want you to work hard. I want you to work harder. Work 8 to 10 hours a day. No, work 12 hours a day. Don't sleep. Come on, who needs sleep? Successful people don't sleep. Successful people sleep maybe 6 hours a day, maybe 5, maybe 4, but 8 hours? Come on, you're lazy. Don't be so lazy. How can you be so lazy? You have to hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Hustle hard and work harder. 80 hours a week, 100 hours a week, because that's how you succeed. Stop. Stop right here. I really want you to take a deep breath and think about how many YouTube videos or how many podcasts or how many articles you've read where somebody says, sleep less, work harder, it's all about hard work, it's all about hustling, hustling, hustling. This is wrong. It's all one big lie. And yes, I know a lot of people who will listen to this will disagree with me and that's okay. But if I can only prevent one person, and I really mean one person, from destroying themselves, from destroying their health, from destroying their friendships, their relationships, if I can only prevent this one person from making this terrible mistake, then I can consider this episode as very, very successful. Because the secret to success is not what they sell you it is. We live in this crazy time where everywhere you go, everywhere you look, every video you watch, it's all about doing more, working harder, investing more time, investing more energy, doing, 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 doing. And I don't say that taking action is bad. Taking inspired action is amazing. Taking action that guides you from the universe is freaking awesome. If I get these impulses in the morning when I wake up and I have these ideas for products, these ideas for podcasts, and it's inspired action, that's amazing. Nothing feels better than that. But if you force yourself to work harder, you will eventually break down. That's at least what happened to me. But before I want to share this story with you, This story of how I bought into this fake idea of the hustle culture and the experience that I had and also this breakthrough moment when I realized that no, success is not about working hard. Before I do that, I want you to think about one thing and that's something that people who are looking for the secret to success never really ask themselves. What does success really mean to you? When you think about how all these business gurus define success, it's all about having a big mansion, having a big Ferrari, or let's say not big Ferrari, they're actually quite small, but let's say having an expensive Ferrari and having all this bling, 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 bling and showing off on Instagram and that's success. And then working hard, harder, harder, harder because you need more, you need the boat, you need the you need the private jet, you need the bigger house. This house only has four bedrooms, this house has five. I need the one with five bedrooms. I need a bigger house that I can show off more and tell people even more that hustling, hustling, hustling leads to success. But is that really true? Let's think about what does success really mean to you? And don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm a law of attraction coach. I'm a manifestation coach. And if you want to book a Skype coaching session with me, which you can do in the link in the description, I can show you how you can manifest your dream house. I can show you how you can manifest more money because I've done it. However, there's one question that I always ask my Skype coaching clients in every manifestation session. It always comes up. I always ask, is this your goal? Do you want this? Is this your definition of success? Or do you only want this because your ego thinks you need to have it and because society conditioned you to believe that it will make you happy if you have it? Because let's face it, everything we want to manifest in our life, everything we want to have, we only want to have it because we believe that we feel better when we have it. So always ask yourself, Do you really want the things that you think you want to manifest in your life? Because from a marketing perspective, it would be so much smarter for me to tell you that I have a Ferrari and to actually buy a Ferrari. I mean, I have the money to buy a Ferrari. I'm financially free. But this is not about marketing here. This is about helping you because I don't need to prove anything. I already live where I want. I do what I want every day. I have enough money. It's okay. I mean, I don't even have to buy a Ferrari. I could just put myself in front of a Ferrari of someone else, which is what most influencers do, make a photo and say, this is how I got rich, even though it's not even my Ferrari. That's what I could do. 
But instead of you thinking that you need this Ferrari to be happy, that you need to manifest this big mansion to be happy, think about what you really want. And yes, like I said, I'm extremely passionate about showing you and guiding you and teaching you how you can manifest the things that you want in your life. And we can do that together if you book a Skype coaching session with me. But before we do that, I really want you to ask yourself, what is my definition of success? Because let's face it, if you listen to some of these gurus who tell you, I've worked all my 30s and all my 40s and I never took a day off, I never did anything else but work, is that success for you? Then you have no social circle, you have no friends, you have no successful relationship and all you do is work, 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 work. And then you have the big house, the big Ferrari, but you're lonely. Is that success? In my opinion, it's not. In my opinion, it's very, very sad. That's why before you really think about how can I manifest success, how can I become successful, what's the secret to success, think about what success means to you. And it's something else for everyone. I mean, I'm in the process right now of manifesting my dream apartment. And a lot of people already asked me via email, hey, why don't you want to manifest your dream house? And I said, because I don't want a house. <laughs> I just don't want a house. I don't want to have a garden that I have to keep up all the time. I don't want to have the hustle of always fixing some stuff that breaks in a house. And I know a lot of rich people who have very big houses and they tell me that it's a burden. I mean, one of my friends actually... <laughs> He recently sold his house, his big house with four bedrooms, because he said, it's such a pain in the ass. And that's why I don't want a house. And in the same way, I don't want a big car and a sports car. I mean, I don't even want a car, because I think using Uber is so much more comfortable. But on the other hand, I want to have money in my life that allows me to now be in a place where I can say, hey, I don't need to work a job anymore, because my biggest, let's say my biggest struggle, my biggest suffering was always to be forced to work in jobs, which I hated. I'm not the type of guy who can do that. It always killed me. It really, it sucked the life energy out of me. It killed my soul. And that's why I'm so, so happy to be financially free. And I don't want to tell you what to do with the money that you manifest. I don't want to do that. And if you want to manifest money, hell, click on the link in the description. You can do that. You can manifest money. But always think about what is your definition of success. And then think about this whole idea of hustle culture. Work harder, work harder, work harder, hustle, 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 go for it, go for it, more hours. Do you know what happens when you do that? I can tell you what happens because I've done it. I've done it with my other businesses before I started Affirmation to Manifestation and I still run these businesses very successfully, but I almost killed myself with work. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I didn't end up in the hospital. However, I had severe health issues. I had severe inflammation in my body from stress, stress-related I was working myself basically, yeah, I mean, if I would have continued like that for a couple of years, I don't even want to know what would have happened. And I worked 8 to 10 hours a day and I was proud of myself. I said, huh, I'm working hard, I'm working hard, I'm hustling, I'm like all these gurus out there, woohoo, I will be successful. Until I reached a point where I was so burned out and where my health issues took over and where I finally had to look inside of myself and say, hey, is this really the solution? And what I did then was to drastically cut the working hours. I went from working 8 to 10 hours, sometimes even 11 or 12 hours a day, to working 6 hours or even less a day. Because as you already know from my affirmations, I always try to convince my conscious mind and my subconscious mind. And I already convinced my subconscious mind with affirmations, but I just had to convince my conscious mind to believe that it's possible to achieve the same results with less work. And what I found was study after study after study that proved that if you do creative work, six hours are the maximum that you should work a day when it comes to productivity. And then I found other interesting studies that most people who work 10 hours or 12 hours or 8 hours, no matter how many hours, when they're in an office, do about two to three hours a day of productive work. Think about that. You convince yourself to believe that you're working hard, that you're doing what all these business gurus want you to do. And in reality, you only work two to three hours a day. And since I work less, I earn more money, I'm more focused, I sleep better, I'm healthier, I do more sports, more exercise, more stretching, more meditation, I have a balanced life, and it's just so much better. And as a side effect, I make more money and I'm more productive. How is that possible? Now you might be thinking, okay, how is it possible that you make more money with six hours than with 10 hours? There are two reasons for that. One of them is spiritual, and if you're listening to me for a while, then you will survive it. And the other one is very logical. 
And I'm a big fan of combining spirituality and logic together, because then again, you can convince your subconscious mind, that's the spiritual side, and your conscious mind, that's your logical side. And the spiritual reason is that your alignment is so much more important than the hours you put in. And I know that might be a little bit hard to realize and to accept for yourself in the beginning, especially because you've been conditioned all these years that working harder and sleeping less is the solution. But believe me, I know so many successful and happy, and I want to emphasize happy people here, who sleep 8 to 10 hours a day. Yes, that's true. And I also sleep long. I sleep 8 hours a day, I go to bed before 10, and I wake up usually at about 6, so I have my 8 hours. And since I realized that alignment with the universe, alignment with your inner being is so much more important than working hours, that's when my income took off. Because then the universe said, okay, finally you got it, finally you realized it. Because in the past, I mean, when I was struggling, when I was living in Bangkok, and I was just earning between $1,000 and $2,000, $2,000 was really the maximum, it was the best month ever, when I was earning that, I was working 10 hours every day, I was stressing myself, I was hustling, hustling hard. And my energy, my vibration was so, so low that it was impossible for me to manifest more money into my life. But back then I didn't know it. Back then I was at a, such a low consciousness level that I thought, okay, if I only work harder, if I only stress myself more, if I only sleep less, then I will be successful. And nothing, and I really mean nothing, could be further from the truth. This is one of the most poisonous mindsets that you can possibly have. Instead, if you are happy, if you treat yourself good, if you treat yourself like somebody you love, if you practice self-love, if you follow your manifestation process, if you spend time enjoying walks in nature, if you enjoy going to the gym, if you enjoy working out, if you meditate, especially meditate, if you do all these things and you don't stress yourself anymore, you are in alignment with the universe. Your vibration rises. And remember, when your vibration rises, then you're finally in this frequency where you can attract the things that you want in your life. That's also why some of my Skype coaching clients are a little bit confused when they book their first Skype coaching session with me. Because they say, I want to manifest this, I want to manifest this. And then I observe their energy. And that's something that I'm really good at to see what kind of vibration you're in and what level of consciousness you're at. And if I see that the vibration doesn't match the thing that they want or the person that they want or whatever it is that they want, I first correct their vibration, I first share insights and exercises and experience that allows them to actually raise their vibration to a level where they can attract these things. And often it also includes to lower your stress level. And the best way to lower your stress level is to not work so goddamn hard. Like I said, my whole life turned around since I started working only six hours. And that was the spiritual reason. And the logical reason is that when you work hard up to a point where you can't concentrate anymore, and the human brain is only designed to concentrate up to a certain amount of hours. I mean, I make a short break every hour because I know that my brain is not designed to do more, basically. And the same is true for you. You are also a human being. If not, let me know. If you're an alien, also okay, let me know. But as far as I know, you're a human being, I'm a human being, and we're both on a spiritual path. And what you will realize when you do that, and I really invite you to do that in the next couple of weeks, work less if you can do it. Work less and see if you can get done more. Because you won't go to YouTube anymore because you're too stressed and watch some random stuff, some random cat videos just to get your mind off work. You won't be on Facebook anymore because you think, oh God, I don't want to work anymore. Oh, let's check this message. Let's check this. You won't do any of these things anymore. You only focus on your work in a concentrated way and afterwards you know, hey, for me it's for example after 4 p.m. I can do whatever I want, I can go for a walk, I can go to the gym and I can enjoy my life. And if I can inspire more people to look for alignment with the universe instead of buying into this hustle culture, into this sick toxic idea that you have to work yourself to death and that's something that really makes me sad when I see very famous people give the advice to sleep less to say oh no you don't need to sleep eight hours you need to sleep six hours if your body needs the sleep then sleep I need more sleep than other people. Yes, there are some people who don't need that much sleep. For example, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's famous for just sleeping four to five hours a night. There are people like that, but there's a high chance that you are not one of them. So please be good to yourself, treat yourself with love, and the more you do that, the more you treat yourself with love, the more you love yourself, and the more you raise your vibration by being happy and by being less stressed, the easier it will be for you to manifest everything you want in your life and you don't have to hustle to get it. 
And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.